How's it going people? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, down below, link in the description box. Download the One Football app right now using that link below. They're sponsoring me and the channel, so continue supporting and download the One Football app if you haven't already using that link below. So people, obviously my AFTV interview um, after Southampton has caused a bit of a stir, getting a lot of messages and comments and tweets about it. Um, and it centres around Pochettino um, being a candidate for the next Arsenal manager. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that. But for me, I'm here to explain a bit of why I'd actually like the idea of that. And um, also discuss a bit more about the We Care Do You statement that came out last night or this morning. And um, some renewed pressure on Kroenke which is really where the pressure should be. It's just that Emery has kind of made it about himself now with very, very, very poor, poor managerial decisions. It seems like when I look at Emery and I look at the fan base and how we are reacting, it seems that we are going to need a manager that can get us to the pinnacle of what this team can manage consistently. And I'd say to squeeze the best out of this team, third fourth finish um season on season if we can get a manager that does that then i think the whole fan base might actually unite and really stick the pressure on Kronke when they realize listen that's the ceiling of the team third fourth is the ceiling it's not getting any better Kronke's ain't investing they don't care um but until then, it looks like every time we have a manager that maybe does show signs of um, show signs of what Emery's showing now, poor form, poor team selection, poor press conferences, poor man management, will we forget essentially or push to the side the Kronke issue again for the manager? It can't keep on happening like it has done at Man United. United thought it was Moyes, they thought it was Van Gaal, they thought it was Mourinho, they thought it was Ole, or they think it's Ole. But in the summer, they kind of realised, listen, Woodward doesn't know what he's doing. The owners don't give a shit. So, I don't want to be that club. We've wasted enough time. I don't want to waste another five, six, seven years going through managers after manager just to find out at the end it's still the same issue we had with our longer serving manager. The Cron case. So, in my opinion, let me just quickly discuss Pochettino. He lives in North London. He lives local. He wouldn't have to move. The way he got let go by Tottenham, I can't lie. It. It's embarrassing. And I know a lot of Tottenham fans are embarrassed by it. That, that, I wouldn't say he's their greatest manager because he, had, he didn't win anything. But he, he brought consistency. He upped their level. He upped their game on a consistent yearly basis. He went to the Champions League final and finished top four without investment at all. So for me, even though I do agree towards the end of last season and the beginning of this season, Tottenham's form has been indifferent. I'd say a total of eight months of indifferent form doesn't really justify sacking a manager that's been loyal to you through Real Madrid and Manchester United interest. That's just my opinion. But... He might feel the same and he might feel like, listen, I won't have to up and move my family. They're happy here. I'm happy here. Let me go over to Arsenal. I've got no loyalty left with Tottenham the way they treated me at the end. Yes, he might have some with the fans, but that will end, obviously, becoming manager of Arsenal. But I could also swing the tide. Now, don't get me wrong. He might not be on it. But if he's not a candidate, then it just shows. It just further shows. He needs to be someone we at least call to see if he'd speak to us. If he'd speak to us, there's a chance. But we won't know. We won't know until until we try. Or, or until, I don't know, until we even fucking let Emery go if, if we're going to do that. People were insinuating that there's going to be news today. Apparently the players are on a holiday or two-day holiday. Something's happening behind closed doors. I don't know what to believe. All I know is Emery is still manager right here, right now, as I speak to this camera. So yeah, as I said, he wouldn't have to move. Comfortable. He improved the quality of Southampton and Tottenham. Good buys on limited funds. Um, what more can I say? Yes, he hasn't won trophies, but he's been at Tottenham. 
Now, what trophies is he meant to have won? You could say FA Cup and League Cup, but come on. But what he's done at Tottenham, for Tottenham, the Champions League year on year, Champions League final. In my opinion, that's, that's the best Tottenham can hope for. That's the best Tottenham can hope for. And I don't think Jose Mourinho is going to prove me wrong on that one. But like I said, um, there is renewed um, pressure on Kronke. I've got the We Care Do You statement in front of me right now. I'm going to read it out and kind of give my take on it. So let's just get into it because it's a bit of a long one. In July, we issued a statement from a number of key Arsenal groups outlining our concern at the direction of our club. A supporting petition was signed by 100k individual Arsenal fans who not only felt a disconnect from the club but also had grave concerns about our future. Since then, we've been told to get excited and to support the team as Arsenal supporters. We have done both. As Arsenal supporters, we do it every fucking game, every fucking season. Why do you think we're so frustrated? Why do you think some of us are flipping? Because enough is enough. But yeah, they continue. There exist many issues raised in our first statement that remain unaddressed by the club. While these matters have not gone away, it's overall alarming and desperate state of things on and off the pitch that need urgent action and take precedence amongst our concerns. Until the club and especially the senior management structure is running efficiently, effectively and ambitiously, then few other issues can or will be satisfactorily resolved. The early optimism of summer around what appeared to be good business and positive signings has given way to renewed concerns about the club's overall direction and leadership of the owner. It feels like the club is rudderless and floating aimlessly, unsure of its destination. I can't bother to read all of this, to be honest. I've read it already. We spoke about it. If you, let me pick out. In my opinion, communication on the whole have been dealt with poorly. Tactics used only add to the confusion, uncertainty and unrest among the fan base, which is turning, which in turn is motivating Arsenal's opponents, who can clearly see we're in trouble. Listen, I'm all for pressure on Kronke. I just personally believe these sorts of letters it's not going to do nothing, in my opinion. In my opinion. Um, even the hashtag we care, even the movement's name, we care do you. It should be we care, they don't. Full stop. It's not a question. It wasn't a question in the summer, but I get the approach. I understand the approach. But it needs to change now. Because it's not we care do you no more. It's we care they don't. Facts. Be excited. Like they mentioned. Be excited. <laughs> Let me just quickly whiz through this. Um, following our statement in the summer, Josh Kronke made an announcement implying that the ambitious KSC had arrived to save the day and secure the club's future. The fact is that KSC acquired a controlling share of Arsenal in 2011 and had significant influence prior to that. Exactly. Exactly. So the time for letters and fucking kind words and paragraphs on paragraphs, I think it's over. They don't give a shit. It's way too late. It's way too... Hill would fuck this club up. Because really and truly, Kronke can ignore all of this. I can say letters and words doesn't matter, but protesting that won't matter either. He doesn't give a fuck. The last decade, notwithstanding the FA Cup wins, can legitimately be seen as lost years both on and off the field definitely lost years definitely lost years years i'm not getting back that's for sure that's for sure while the club's away support continues to be magnificent home crowds are starting to deplete and this situation will be further compounded by what will soon become a toxic atmosphere it started already if the current turmoil and lack of true leadership at the club continues to translate into poor performances on the pitch oh has it continued by oh ha where did it go wrong for emery where did it go wrong we want clear acknowledgement that the board recognises the issues faced by the club. No, we do not want clear acknowledgement. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What What do you want? What are you asking for? Them to come out and say, we know we're in a bad... No, 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 no. Fucking do. January, do. Summer, do. I'm t I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear shit. Do you hear from Man City's owners? Do you hear from Liverpool's owners much? Do you hear from... Nah, they do the business. Do the business, Kronke. I don't fucking want to hear you, mate. Um, that would be clear acknowledgement for me, and how severe these are for the, and how severe these are for the future of the Arsenal. As supporters, we want actual communication and measurable assurances from the board that actions are in place to address this seemingly inexorable slide. 
As many great managers and players have said over the years, everyone involved with the Arsenal must remember who you are, what you are, and who you represent. It's all good for these taglines and all this, man. Like, come on, like, come on. I respect what you did in the, in the summer, but that letter to me is not going to do fuck all. You needed to be a bit more direct. You needed to be a bit more blunt. You needed to apply a bit more pressure. That's just another letter that... In the summer, they ignored. Don't get it twisted. When Kronke was asked about that, Josh, yeah, he sided it off. He sided it off. He said, supporters, listen, they can do what, they, they can do what they're doing. This, this ain't going to change shit. This letter ain't going to change shit. So I don't, like, good luck. Well, I say good luck. I support the thing. I support anyone and everyone against the owners because they are, a, they are the issue. Emery is a problem. Kronke is the problem. That's how I see it. And until more fans see that and open their eyes, like I said, we might need to get a manager that pushes us to the pinnacle, gets the most out of the squad, gets the most out of the transfer budget, gets the most out of the resources available before we finally then turn to Kronke, which might be another five, six years down the fucking line. One way or another, we are all turning to Kronke. Trust me on that. We are all turning to Kronke. Whether we chop and change managers until we realise the board don't know what the fuck they're doing and go back to Kronke. And that'll take another six years. Or whether we find the next manager who slots right in, improves us. We finish third, fourth next year. We finish third, fourth again the year after. And then we start asking ourselves, but where do we go from here? Where's the ambition from the board? And then we realise, hold on, this is the same board that fucked us over years ago. It's this manager that's doing all the business for us. So, either way, we're coming back to Kronke. We've wasted enough time as Arsenal fans, yeah, bickering about Wenger, bickering about this, that, everything. Listen, Hill would fuck this club up. Wenger had a part to play in it. Gazidis had a part to play in it. The Kronkes are the problem now, yeah, and a lot of the fans had a part to play in it by saying this club needs to remain classy, this club needs to remain British, this club needs to remain this, that. It all led down the road to Stan Kronke, yeah? And this is where we are now. So the time for letters, the time for words, the time for asking questions, it's over. They don't care, yeah? We obviously do care. That's it. That's it. Some other movement needs to be started off the back of it. Because what are we going to do? Wait for a response to this letter now, or whatever this statement is, and then what? If we don't get a response, what happens next? Because it'll be January, it'll be February then, and then what? Well, uh, where do we care do you now? What's the next step? Listen, this season we needed to... I can't believe we're not... We're 12 points off. Oh, well, it's still nine points, but I can't believe we're, we're nine points off top four. I can't believe it. I thought even if Emery fucks about this season... We've got quality in the squad now that will at least push us over the line considering Frank Lampard's at Chelsea, considering United are shit, considering Tottenham. I didn't think they'd do well this season off the back of last season. And to be honest, Lampard's proven a lot of us wrong. Most of us, to be honest. No one expected Chelsea to be performing as good as they are with the transfer ban and, and a manager with no experience. But they are doing... Very well, very well indeed, putting Emery and Arsenal players to shame. And then you've got Leicester, who are doing their thing as well. Um, I'm still, I can't say I'm confident about top four. We can still do it, but we need to move fast and make decisions now. I've given my points about Pochettino. I'll take Allegri. I'll take him without much commitment. If we was to bring him in now, give him a year and a half, analyse it in the summer... Because it seems like what the problem is, we don't want to pay Emery off. We're tight on the money. I'm fucking tired of it, bruv. Tottenham broke their transfer record, sacked their manager off, and then doubled their old manager's wages and gave it to Jose. 15 mil a year. More than our net spend this summer. Amazing. Amazing. But we ain't got no money and we are this and we are... Oh, mate, if I go back to the way people, Arsenal fans used to be like, oh, he's saving the money and he's doing this for that and it's this for that. And then, nah, embarrassing. Now you've all been, all of you lot should shut the fuck up. And all of them guys that back when going back what was going on at the club eight, nine, ten years ago, 
saying we need to save the money, we need to do this. Shut the fuck up now because you don't know anything. Anything at all. Anything at all. Because we could have spent. It was our choice not to. We didn't want to take the risk. Whereas Tottenham, who we can laugh at, no trophies, noisy neighbours. They've been better than us for a few years, but they're taking risks as well. Broke their transfer window, sacked the manager that's not even under much pressure. Brought in a manager that's, personally, I don't like, but he's won everything. That's at least ambition being shown. Us, on the other hand, fucking hell, mate. Us, on the other hand, I don't even... I don't even know what more to say, to be honest. I mean, by the time this video uploads, Emery might be sacked. He might not be sacked. He might be picking the team for Frankfurt this Thursday. He might be here on Sunday against Norwich. I don't know what Arsenal are doing. I don't know what they've done. I don't know what they're going to do. And really and truly, no one does. All I know is Kronke out. Emery, you've made it about yourself now. You need to go too. And let's bring in Pochettino. But let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Would you be happy with Pochettino? Like I said, I've received a lot of messages in support and against the idea. A lot of people saying, oh, why would he come? Okay, forget that for a sec, because he might not want to come. But say he was available and he wanted to come. Would Arsenal fans, that's who I'm talking to right now, would Arsenal fans take him? And I know I've got fans of other clubs on the channel. I want to ask you guys, if Arsenal war to get Pochettino, would you be worried or would you laugh? Because in my opinion, you'll be more worried than laughing. Pochettino's reputation hasn't just gone up in flames because Tottenham have sacked him. I believe 90, 95% of, of the football world know that he was kind of sacked prematurely. They can justify it all they want by saying Jose's a winner, Jose's this, but Jose's been sacked from his last three clubs. So it is what it is. I'd definitely take him. I think it could spur us on. I think it could turn the tide. I think he brings a style of play. You can trust him with giving more money than Tottenham. To spend and on wages. And yeah, people don't have to move. But by the time this video is out, he might have signed for fucking Bayern Munich. And this video goes up in the air. But it is what it is, people. Let me know what you care about. Um, what you think about Pochettino, what you think about Allegri and what you think about this weekend do you statement. I was going to go through it all, but the video is nearly 20 minutes now. There was no point. It was paragraph on paragraph when really it needed to be a bit more blunt. It needed to be a bit more direct, a bit more threatening that something's around the corner if this don't change. It's all good and well writing a letter. It's all good and well saying with it... Arsenal Alliance or whatever the 14, 15, 17 people that signed, I don't give a shit. To get me, some of them people are idiots as well, if I'm honest with you. Some of them people, have, they've shown themselves to be idiots. But I support the movement. I don't support the people, per se, but I support the movement. You don't have to support the people. You can support the movement if you believe in it. Get me, big up Hugh Rizzi, my guy, and big up a few of the people that are in this secret reliance thing or whatever they want to make it out to be. Um, but next time, let, let's put it on Cronkia a bit more. In, enough talking. Time for time for more pressure. Um, you've got a lot of support. You've got a lot of support. Let's let's make it work for us now. Do you get me? Stadium walkouts, protests, movements, less of the letters. But yeah, people, let me know in the comments, like I said, what you people think. And the Instagram, the Twitter is down below, Turkish LDN. And yeah, peace people, I'm out. Love, love. love.